Hi all, I'm Bansi here. Today I'm back with Medical Surgical Nursing. Uh, today in this video we will be discussing about priapism. It's from male reproductive system. Priapism is nothing like unwanted prolonged erection of the penis. Okay, without a sexual arousal. It's a very serious condition. Okay, so priapism is uh, unwanted persistent that means continuous it can lead to four hours also four hours erection of the penis without a sexual arousal okay and uh, prolonged erection of the penis usually without a sexual arousal is the definition moving on to the etiology we can say that any overuse of any drugs for example antidepressants okay or uh, it can be occurring to other blood disorder as a secondary disorder okay due to any other first blood disorder such as leukemia sickle cell anemia and all then alcoholism um, prolonged alcoholism okay chain smoker and all we can say smoking then injury or trauma any injury or trauma or any like for example spider bite or scorpion bite okay then spinal cord injuries uh, any metabolic disorder such as gout and cancer, penile cancer. Okay, so this are uh, the etiology and risk factors that can end up in priapism. There are two types of priapism that is ischemic and non ischemic. Ischemic means ischemia, word means lack of oxygen. So non ischemic means the oxygen is present there, right? So ischemic and non ischemic. So moving on to the clinical manifestation, there will be pain and full the penile will be or the penis will be fully uh, rigid okay and there will be discomfort pain because of that pain will be radiated toward the thighs okay inner thighs and all uh, what are the complication of priapism as we said that there are two types of priapism ischemic and non-ischemic so ischemic priapism is a very serious complication okay which can lead to very serious complication because there is no oxygen lack of oxygen right because of that it destroys the tissue of the penis okay and if it is left untreated untreated priapism ischemic priapism that can cause erectile dysfunction that's a condition which we'll be discussing coming on okay what are the prevention of priapism prevention can be like we can give proper treatment for sickle cell anemia because it's a cause of getting priapism later on then uh, then hormonal blocking medications only for adult then use of oral med medication to manage or to prevent erectile dysfunction as we know that ischemic priapism can end up in erectile dysfunction so we have to cause or we have to start treatment to prevent the uh, disease okay we we abbreviate it as ed erectile dysfunction moving on to the body uh diagnostic evaluation history collection physical examination will be done okay then blood test will be done okay so blood test will be known usually to diagnose any uh, leukemia or anemia sickle cell anemia and all fine then in blood test blood penile blood gas monitoring i repeat penile blood gas monitoring or measuring okay that's a procedure by doing like a tiny needle okay a tiny needle will be inserted in the penis to draw a blood sample with the help of a syringe okay so if the sample turned black okay if the blood turned black that means it is clearly ischemic priapism okay and if it is turned bright red that means it is non-ischemic priapism fine then ultrasound will be done and one more new test will be done for priapism is toxicology test. Toxicology test means doctor usually advises for this in the blood or either in the urine to know whether uh, due to any drug this uh, priapism is getting caused. Usually in the etiology we said the overuse of antidepressant can cause priapism. So in this test by this test they will be uh, doing the study of which drug is causing priapism. Okay then Moving on to the treatment, ischemic priapism, aspiration will be done, aspiration decomposition that is excess blood is drained out from the penis using a needle and syringe, okay, then a drug that is phenylephrine will be given, okay, then uh, non-ischemic priapism is according to the clinical manifestations, we will be treating the patient, okay. According to the cause, we will be treating the patient. So I hope you understood, it's a small condition, priapism. I hope uh, everyone is fine. Take care. Have a nice day.